Welcome viewers to TV Box Stop, the channel for the best reviews in TV boxes and accessories. On today's video, I feature the latest iPad Sport Bluetooth Mini Touchpad Keyboard for 2022. This model comes with a 2.4 GHz band wireless dongle as well as it can connect to your devices via Bluetooth and it has a built-in rechargeable battery with backlit keys. So in this short video, we take a look at its design and button features and I'll also test its Bluetooth connectivity and its compatibility with Windows and Android devices, so stay tuned. Welcome back. So this is the box it comes in and it contains the mini keyboard, a micro USB charging cable and a user manual. Located in the battery compartment is the 2.4 GHz wireless dongle receiver and its lithium-ion rechargeable battery. The manual states that it can be used with regular AAA batteries in the event that the rechargeable battery is faulty. However, the compartment to hold those batteries does not have any connecting pins, so take note of that. To the front of the keyboard features a full QWERTY keyboard with F1 through F10 keys, with second function buttons to control its F11 and F12 keys, its backlight feature, control alt delete function, and other functions such as home and end keyboard functions. To the left of the keyboard, it has mouse left and right click functions, and to the right has page up and down functions. On the upper half of the keyboard, you have controls for your media player such as volume, play button, previous and next track buttons. At the right, you have a direction pad with an OK button to the center. At the center, you have your trackpad that features pinch and zoom functions and it also has a mouse wheel function together with mouse cursor a mouse feature. To the left of the trackpad, you have a power button, a play button, a mute button and an email shortcut button. And to the right, it has a search button, a home button, a button to open your default browser, and a menu button. And to the top of the keyboard is where you will find its micro USB charging port and an on off switch. There are two ways to connect this keyboard. First, you simply use the included USB dongle by plugging it into any available USB port on your device. You then press the second function button and the RF button which puts the keyboard into pairing mode with the dongle. You need to double check this in the event the keyboard starts in Bluetooth mode, as there is no auto switching between the dongle mode and the Bluetooth mode, so take note of that. So here I have it connected to a Windows computer and it works perfectly. On the keyboard, it has a Windows button for accessing the start menu. Together, in combination with the trackpad, you can perform advanced left and right mouse click functions. You can control the volume with the top left media controls. You can get the control alt delete function by simply pressing the second function button and the enter button. You can use the direction pad and ok button to open any app. You can open your default browser with the home button. Your default email client can be opened using the button with the mail icon. And you can shut down the PC by simply pressing the power button. The second way you can connect this keyboard is by using its Bluetooth function. This way is more convenient, modern, and conserves your USB port for other functions. Also, on devices that does not have a USB port such as your mobile phone, this will be your only method of connecting. To activate the Bluetooth pairing mode, simply press the second function key and the F3 key on the keypad until the orange LED starts flashing. Then on your device, search for Bluetooth keyboard and pair to it. Once successfully paired, the LED will stop flashing. So now that we have seen how it works on a Windows computer, I will now switch to an Android TV box and let's see how it functions. When connected to an Android TV box, whether using a dongle or connected via Bluetooth, its button functions are slightly different but 100% integrated into the box's launcher. The media controls and the direction pad performs the same functions of its default infrared remote to navigate the launcher and to control its volume. And if you are playing a media file, the media player control buttons will control the media player. Every button on the keyboard performs a specific function on the TV box. The home button brings you back to the launcher's home screen. The internet explorer button opens up your default browser. 
the search button opens up a search in your default browser. The mail button opens up your default email app. The play button opens up your music player. And the power button puts the box into standby and wakes it from standby. The QWERTY keyboard is fully functional on the Android and the only feature missing is a built-in microphone for Google Assistant. Now that we have gotten the obvious devices out of the way, let's see what happens when you connect it directly to a smart TV. So here I have it connected to an LG 4K smart TV and you get all basic functions such as volume controls. In apps such as Netflix, you can navigate using the direction pad and OK button. Also, if the TV has a mouse pointer feature, the keyboard can access that feature with the trackpad. If you press the search button, it pulls up the general webOS search feature on the TV. The keyboard does not have a built-in microphone, so there is no voice commands when connected. And finally, the keyboard can shut down the TV, but unfortunately it can't power it back on because it does not have an IR learning function. And finally, you can connect this keyboard to your mobile phone or tablet and get all the functions including the trackpad to navigate your mobile device, the same way it's done on the Android TV box. However, when connected to a mobile phone, the mouse cursor experiences a bit of latency. So viewers, there you have it. This was my review of the latest iPad Sport wireless slash Bluetooth keyboard. I like that you have the option of both the wireless dongle and connecting via Bluetooth and that it has a full quality keyboard for Windows and you have left and right mouse click buttons along with a responsive trackpad. So if you would like to get your hands on this model, you can get it on Amazon for a very low price. See the link in the description directly below this video. Links in the description are my affiliate links which means when you use them to purchase or to simply view the product, you provide monetary support to this channel which in turn provides the means for me to acquire new products for review, so thanks in advance for using my links. Give this video the thumbs up to support this channel and the work that I do here. If you are watching one of my videos for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving to keep in the loop and to receive a notification as soon as I release a new video or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video, stay tuned and see you in the next one.